Lisa, thanks. Yeah, traveling by air is already a bigger headache than usual this year. You're dealing with both staffing issues and, of course, booming summer, summer travel. Now we're learning that if you checked a bag and you can't find it when you land, you could be waiting an extremely long amount of time because those unclaimed bags are piling up at airports this summer. Reporter Jake Carolaxis is live outside of Atlanta Airport today. And Jake, more people, it seems, are losing their bags. Matt, airports overseas are reporting more lost bags, and now we're seeing similar issues here in the U.S. at airports like this one in Atlanta. And once your stuff disappears, it might show up in a store. We go through the contents and we determine how we're going to give new life to each item in an orphan bag. The unclaimed baggage store in Scottsboro, Alabama is full of items from lost or unclaimed luggage. All my friends at college and stuff are so jealous of all the stuff that I find here. You walk by, if something catches your eye, then, then, uh, then it's a great find for the day. Everything in the store is from bags that went unclaimed for at least 90 days. So I think we would definitely sell that. Owners Brian and Sharon Owens have run unclaimed baggage for 50 years. They say the number of bags coming in always goes up during a busy travel period, but not like this. We have more product uh, than ever right now, both at unclaimedbaggage.com. Uh, and in our store. FlightAware says airline staffing issues are causing these luggage problems. With so many missing workers, so many fewer bag handlers, what's happening is a lot of these things are not getting to their destination. Unclaimed baggage is getting more luggage from around the U.S., including from the closest major airport in Atlanta. Hartsville is, is, is certainly a huge airport, um, but uh, we're seeing items come to us by the tractor trailer load uh, every week from all across America. The U.S. Department of Transportation says there were almost 238,000 lost or delayed bags in May. That's over 100,000 more than the same time last year. From Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, Jake Carolexis, Fox 13 News.